Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 20 of my Alpha 17 experimental Seven Days to Die Let's Play. Oh, yeah. As you can see, my tools are a little bit um, damaged. <laughs> so I just spent the night under, uh, in the under there, and um, I got a a few more resources. Uh, actually, let's do this. Uh, repair. Yeah, I was pretty sure it would take more than one. Um, I just made a few torches because um, I want to like put maybe um, One up here. I don't really um, care about uh, that tier because I got lights on the outside. We actually have two here. I forgot about those. I, I made a couple extra torches, so that stinks. Um, what I want to do is not have to worry about uh, wearing a mining helmet. While I'm down here, or at least not having to rely solely upon the mining helmet. There is a torch on there. I think it's actually behind the block. When the first night I placed it, and it was like the only light source I had, so I couldn't. Um, I was afraid if I. Uh, dug that block up, I would lose my torch. Um, so I didn't. I just left it there. Um, let's see. I believe I need one right there. Boink. And right here. Oh, you're damaged. No. So are you. How did the block behind it get damaged? I guess it's because this isn't a solid block. Look at that. I accidentally uh, was upgrading these blocks yesterday. And I accidentally upgraded a couple to cement. And I didn't mean to. Because I had the cement on me. So that was silly. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like we got two sides done um we're gonna have to hold off on the upgrades for that because um i literally have no iron i just got like a hundred um while i was down there in the down there um i might be able to oh, come on I think if you if you go side to side, uh, it it sort of causes you to be able to go up. Um, see, I don't know. Do I want them on like the corners here? Is that gonna be funky? Yeah, I can't. There it goes. Uh oh. Uh, so that was placed weird. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, that looks, that's where I want it. Um, it just, um, I don't know how much, if, if this is going to sort of, um, make me be seen while I'm up here working. Or if I should just uh, use my my mining helmet. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. But I made the torches, so I might as well use them. I really wanted them for down there, so because if I'm mining, I don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> I don't want to draw attention. 
Uh, we're a little bit down on food because we've been doing all the heavy lifting and stuff. I did run, <coughs> I went down one more level. I ran into some more uh, gravel. Lots of nitrate so far. As you can see, I only got like uh, three rows um, unlocked down there on the, so, do, 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 do. yeah, I just did the three rows right here and then uh, went out this way, and I was starting to clear out this section and my shovel just completely broke and I couldn't use it anymore whatsoever, and it was like, oh no. Uh, so I came up here and I threw uh, some of the sand that I'd gotten in here and made up some more arrows because I'm at 185. So yeah, uh, it's already gone through like 100 of the iron that I had. Uh-huh. I didn't have a whole lot. Because like I said, I've been finding nitrate and there's tons of gravel. Uh, so not a whole lot of stone was gotten out of that. It is day 20, the day before the horde. Oh, I'm so, so freaking out. Um, what we need to do is make some more wood frames. Oh, <laughs> I got my my feet soaking in the water and I was wondering what what is causing my leg to start to itch in one part and I looked down and there's a kitty a kitty sniffing of my leg uh, so let's go ahead and make this wow okay um also like I said I found some nitrate so we got another 600 with no coal to go with it. Uh, so, good times. Um, no, this one. I want to put the dirt and the sand away. Uh, I did find some spike traps in one of my chests, uh, so that was good. But I think what I want to do is um, like I made these corridors so the zombies um, they can't come directly in from any side anymore. So that's what I wanted the wood frames for to go ahead and finish this part off. Um, I'm thinking, uh, the zombies seem to be able to tell where your defenses are the weakest. Um, so what I was wanting to do, uh, this is sort of to lead them into the corners. This isn't really meant to keep them out. It's just sort of to help funnel them towards these corners. I was thinking just now, uh, because they tend to go, uh, they tend to want to go to the middle here where I don't have um, the double. <laughs> so it, that, that sort of drawn them towards the middle here. So I'm thinking we might use that to our advantage since they're going to have to come to the corners and then they're going to have to come along here. So I say we fill this area up with um, barbed wire fence. Now that will also give them a boost up and make it to where they might be able to get up there. Uh, which would be really bad. Hey. Anything else damaged over here? I would really want like 
anything that's exposed, uh, I really want to upgrade, but I don't know that I'm, I'm just not going to have the materials uh, yet. Oh, we made, I forgot, we freshly made um, 60 right before uh, the end of last episode. I think this was uh, an explosion because it's just a tiny bit of every block. I can't even tell that it's been well on the outside ones. There we go. Uh, yeah, I haven't upgraded this so I don't I don't have access to those blocks, but I do on the other side over here. Yeah, I definitely want to give those a go. I don't want to upgrade these to cement, but I want to keep the cement on me. I'm thinking we'll, um, maybe if we have enough resources, upgrade those wooden blocks that are exposed. Give them a few more hit points. It's hard to get these blocks from the top, so this is the best time to do it, <laughs> especially before I put traps all throughout here. So, um, this, leaving this, ex I was going to go ahead and, um, finish these parts off is what I, I initially wanted to do is to fill those in once we get the materials. Uh, but now that I saw that the zombies are attracted to this point, um, we could lure them in because if they're if they come down here and then they turn around and they decide hey I want to hit this wooden wall that's much more preferable than to them wanting to break in uh, which I've seen sometimes they do it's a it's a little bit weird I don't know why they would hit this wall over this wall but if I'm up there I could see how it could get confusing maybe they want to destroy that block so they could climb up which could also be another dilemma. So we might want to go around putting uh, wooden blocks there to keep them, uh, or to sort of just delay them, you know? <laughs> delay them from uh, actually hitting the blocks above, because I don't want them hitting these up here. So... If I like fill this in, this part in, we don't even need the middle block there, I don't guess. Like this, um, if they break this block, they'll be able to get up, but then they'll have to break those. And hopefully I'll be able to shoot them before uh, too much of that goes on. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my god. It's the last episode. Um, I, I really wanted to get the steel. Uh, spend the points to get the steel overnight. But I figured we needed the crucible anyway. Um, in order to make steel tools. So I w more than likely wasn't going to be able to way. So what, what I want to do is, yeah, quit being obnoxious. Um, go ahead and spend our points. Um, we need the, the int eight. We need to buy that. And then we need to, uh, to buy this one. And then we have one point left. I think I decided I was going to put it in to 
headshot. That's what I wanted. Oh, look at the number three. Five percent chance to explode heads on head. Oh my god. I would I would love to explode some heads, honestly. I, I can't believe the chance is so low. But really it is a special occasion when you explode a zombie head. It's just it that's like one of my favorite things about killing the zombies was exploding their heads. So yeah, <laughs> that should help us a little bit on Horde Night. Also something that I was looking at uh, was in the agility, the hidden strike. Um, when you're going into a house and you're sneaking, this would be awesome because it would make your sneak attack be that much more powerful. So you're more than likely to get that zombie dead on the first hit. Uh, which is really nice and if I mean it's probably not going to work on a feral but on the normal guys you know you just weed them out uh, like chaff <laughs> so um, yeah I would really like to get this uh, done but we just got uh, so let's see what do we need to make a crucible I know it's a lot of stone uh, 40 iron, 10 mechanical parts. We actually have the stone and soil. We can do this. Because uh, I spent most of the night grinding down there. Anyway, I know it's going to be... Uh, it's uh, it's going to be not cement that I'm making. <laughs> which is unfortunate. But I think uh, getting steel... We don't really have any iron right now anyway. So, uh, But... That could get me, um, like, how how do you make um, a steel pickaxe? It has to be, oh, it's 20 forged. See, I would really want to upgrade that first. Um, because... Uh, I'm having a lot of problems with this iron pickaxe and I'm not doing so bad with the iron shovel. It's only two hits to break gravel and when I go get sand, it's one hit already. Uh, power attack. So, yeah, that's priority. If we could get 20 steel out of what we have down there, that would be awesome. <laughs> I don't know that we'll be able to do it. But if we could, we could uh, gather stone much more efficiently, hopefully. And... Yeah. Then, yeah, let's grab some feathers and, oh, you're the wrong corner, mister. Uh, grab some feathers. Uh, we are almost to steel arrows, steel arrowheads, uh. But I'm gonna, I already made up the iron ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and make those. Uh, we got a horde night coming up soon, and man, if we get any cops, uh, that's gonna blow through a whole bunch of uh, ammo. We only have, is that seriously all the metal that I have? All good. And we're getting kind of low on wood as well. Which is unfortunate. So, we needed the metal. We need like 40 metal. was mechanical parts but I don't remember was it like 20 I think it might have been less than that but let's oh we need um, soil I think it was like 600 or something but that should be fine so we should have everything crucible right there yeah it's gonna take five minutes let's go ahead oh it's only 10 mechanical parts Let's go ahead and just make it. Just make it. 
there we go. No. Oh, we look at that. We got more traps. Um, I don't believe we've had any. Oh, I put that totally in the wrong box. Awesome. So we got those arrows made. Lickety split. Um, we'll put the extras over there. Look at that. We almost have 250 extra. That's amazing. So now we're down to 600 stone, 1500 wood. Our crucible is making. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe finish off at least one section down there with, um, oh, let's go to traps, the barbed wire fence. So I think since we have the one block on the corners, we're not going to be able to put those all the way up against the wall. And it's only three wide. So let's go down there and have a look. Let's see what area we're working with so we know how many to make so we don't spend a lot of resources making too many of these. Um, this looks like it's five wide uh, that way and then three wide this way. So if we put 15 in there, that'll be a choke point for them. So when they hit this part and they're wanting to beat on my base, they'll be slowed enough to where I should be able to hit them. And this seems pretty durable. So it should last quite a long time. I'm hoping that it'll last a whole horde night. That's the plan, man. So like at least 15 uh, to cover our weak points. In the middle. So that when they get to this weak point um, and they're drawn to it, they'll be slowed down and that uh, slowing them down is beneficial <laughs> so that I can hit them with my uh... so what do we need like a total of 45 more yeah so that I can aim and shoot at them because it's very hard to hit them when they're running around all over the place <laughs> running around all over the place yeah, I'm shaking my head. <laughs> you can't see that, but that's okay. You know I did it. Okay. This is going to be awesome. I hope it works out the way I intended. So they, yeah, I noticed that the zombies really, uh, they really see where your weaknesses are and they go there um so yeah hopefully there's they'll still be drawn to these areas and they'll get sucked into my trap this way i don't have to put the barbed wire fences on every single <laughs> spot available i just put them in these spots if they're gonna come here and that's sort of how i I do it, I come in and I kite them around uh, over the stuff and things. And that didn't take as much materials as I thought it would, so we actually have a, a little bit left. Uh, we might be able to go out and take a last look because uh, we're always having zombies trying to come in here. They want to. They want to see zombie land uh, and and get get in here before all the rides get broken or shut down because they're unsafe. <laughs> I don't think they're unsafe, uh, at least not for me. Whoa, that one was there. Yeah, I got it. Um, eventually, hopefully, these will, you know, this area will also be upgraded with, with concrete, but that's going to be, you know, depending on how Horde Night goes, that could be a while. <laughs> uh, 
because I really, I'm really uh, wanting to. I think it's. Is it the grass? No. There we go. It was the one on the other side. I still got a couple of landmines over here um, that have not been busted into. Oh, look, uh, you took a little bit of damage, did you? I think occasionally a zombie, um, in their haste to uh, get through this opening, they'll occasionally come by and whack the fence because they want on the other side. Uh, but they don't. They don't generally uh, try to go all out to destroy the fence. So yeah, instead of uh, busting through the fence, uh, they want to come through the opening. Uh, since that's the weakest point. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that, that that gives us the chance to make zombie land. Um, I really hope to get more <laughs> more features, more rides for the zombies so that they can come in and you know have a relaxing time <laughs> and just kick back with the kiddos. Yeah I had a um, had that wandering horde through the night. They didn't all come in at once. They just sort of piecemealed it. They would come in one at a time because they didn't really, they were too far away to see me. Since I didn't have like my mining helmet on. I mean, I had it on, but it just wasn't on on. Oh no. That'll be okay. It'll be okay okay if it's turned the wrong way. I think it still will work. And what we could do is now that we have um, now that we have those corridors where they could uh, that are choke points I really I really think that's gonna help me on the horde night. Uh, to be able to pick them off a lot easier. Because that's the hardest part about the runners is that they're freaking running. <laughs> and if they're not running, they're not so tough. Uh, and I can, I can shoot them. Looks like a lot of our, our landmines are still there. Oh my goodness. Oh, how did I miss? How did I miss? <sighs> I'm so glad she didn't see me. Okay, so that's... Um... Yeah, look, that guy's got a little broken leg down here. There we go. Uh, there's three over there. Looks like there's at least one over here. So a couple of these has been tripped. So the, uh, looks like all three of those are gone. Um, and all three of those are gone. Uh, those are there. And those are there. So it looks like that one corner is where they've been coming in a lot. Uh, mostly. Oh, there's only one left on that side. So yeah, um, we still got a lot of landmines. They weren't as effective as I thought uh, they were going to be. So I think we'll save our gunpowder for ammo. Um, I 
maybe we'll like splurge and we'll do something like put iron bars there in that gap. I don't know. Um, but I was thinking since they're going to come to this corner anyway, um, let's, uh, we have extra spikes. We just built our defenses. Uh, let's fill this middle area with spikes, not to really, uh, do anything, but just to harass them. They'll just come over, take a little bit of damage. Um, if there are some tougher mobs, like we get a cop, I'll be able to drag them down over those uh, uh, barbed wire fence. I guess it doesn't really matter which direction I face it. <laughs> There we go. We got a couple extra still. So yeah, I'm hoping... Is that damaged? No. It looks like it's got a little spot right there. But I guess it's got it on that one too. Huh. Okay, so what I want to do is come over and uh, fill in those gaps on all four sides. And then um, we'll probably go check and see if our crucible is done and see if we can make uh, 20 steel for a pit. I don't know. I think, um, I don't know how much more iron it takes. Uh, we might need to just go and harvest a few of the go a little bit away from our base and harvest a few of the surface rocks because those are generally a really good source of iron. Uh, I found it's much more concentrated than trying to dig and find a, a vein. Why search underground when, uh, you know, you could uh, spend a few seconds wandering around away from your base and find tons of them everywhere. And I'll probably go not into the desert. <laughs> because uh, when we go into the desert, we got to uh, account for heat. Which is no good. So hopefully um, these walls will help keep them away from our stinking ladders. <laughs> and that's concentrating um, our traps and stuff into... Uh, a smaller area so this area around here is a little bit more clear uh, so I don't have to <laughs> trip over my own traps which is the whole point of this uh, these guys are a little bit hurt I don't think I can up uh, repair them except for with iron and I don't have any iron on me I have a scrap iron I was really hoping to have the rest of those wood frames upgraded by the time the horde gets here, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that done. That's, oh, there's our crucible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go down and make some steel. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, like I said, we're probably going to have to go... There goes our crucible. We had a little bit of stuff left to smelt. Alright, let's turn that on and then look. Um, forged steel is available. Okay, it takes twice as much. It takes 20 iron and 10 clay. Where this takes 10 and 5. So, that being said, I think we can make our 20 steel. Let's make it. It will take a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to share. Oh, we're gonna get a pick. And I think the iron shovel takes as much, but we're not gonna be worried about that right now. Uh, oh, these 
I think we have to make in the workbench. Uh, yeah, the steel fire axe. Let's go ahead. Oh, we can't favorite it because we can't make it. We have to favorite it over there. Um, 20 steel, 20 steel, 20 steel. Um, we still can't make steel armor though. Is that like the next step in that? Um, hammer and forge? Yeah, and um, I think we definitely want to invest in that um, because you can't, I mean, if you just rely on drops for it, uh, you'll never be able to get like, a, you know, a level six with all the mods all the mod spots open so you can upgrade the crap out of your <laughs> armor. Um, I think once we get that, I'm, I, see with the benefit of the steel armor coming from a mod that you can only get as a drop, I really think, I'm really thinking that um, I would put that point in but make the military armor uh, and buff it, buff it up. So I have extra mobility, because I like my mobility. <laughs> Let's see, are you done? Oh yeah, baby. Let's go make a pick. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and we'll have to, of course, go test this out. <laughs> um, yeah. Because uh, uh, we, of course, need stone. Tools and traps. So let's favorite these so that uh, they're on our short list. Um, so we can unfavorite the iron to make this list a little bit shorter. Boink, there we go. Um, I don't think I want this gun. Oh, I think, you know, if you have the one recipe favorited, I think it it um, favorites both of them. So if I were to unfavorite the other one, it would unfavorite this one. Let's test it. Unfavorite you. But that's the one that uses two. And so it unfavorite it. It really doesn't matter because uh, this is a very short list of items you can make in this. So <laughs> why even bother? favoriting any of them. In fact, we can just go ahead and uncheck all of these now. Because that's it. That's it. the list of things you can make in here. Which I like that. I like only seeing a small list of things. But that's um, not making my steel pickaxe. It's, it's going to take a whole minute. Oh my god! A whole minute. Uh, <laughs> it's better than like five, I guess. And we'll put this one. This will be our spare one from now on. Uh, once, now that we can make steel, I want to first get to where. Oh, a machete! What? What? Can I make a machete? Machete is made in the workbench with 20 more steel. Oh my god, I really need this. Can we make 20 more steel? Uh, because um, I really want a machete. I might switch main weapons if I had a machete. Uh, let's, whoa, let's favorite you. Why did you shut up? Okay, so let's craft up. 20 steel. It's going to take a minute. And then let's go ahead and get our jars. Our jar jars. Oh my god, I'm a cheaty. I really want a machete. I'm a cheaty, a cheaty, a cheaty, a cheaty. Uh, because if I had a machete, that would be my main weapon. And I would, I would only have to carry around my main weapon and then that would also be my 
animal slicing and dicing tool so it would clear up a spot on my hot bar basically. Um, Oh, I'm so excited. I know I want the Machidi. We got to wait uh, 12 more seconds and then we can go get this one going. And then while it's making, uh, hopefully it only takes like a minute, but we can go test out our new pick. So hopefully that's done. There we go. And those glasses can finish up. I probably have too much fuel in there, but I only put 12 in at a time. So... So if I clear that up, I could possibly keep my, my my pick, my shovel, and my axe on my hot bar. <gasps> and it's a level five! Oh, I love it! It's beautiful! Um, okay, let's get rid of the wooden bow and the hunting knife and get a machiti. Machiti. We need one leather. Machidi, I love you. Oh my god, it's only gonna take 11 seconds. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, um. Can I, uh. Can I set things on fire with the Machidi? Uh, let's put this guy over here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we'll also be able to make our own wrenches. And we'll also be able to repair all our stuff and things. <sighs> okay. Um, I wanted to see... Also, we have um, this mod... Could, could I put a barbed wire mod? I, I don't think it went in like the hunting knife. But maybe it'll go... Um, what the heck is that for? Is that the one that reduced recoil? Greatly reduced noise from armor. Oh, so it's a stealth, it's a stealth thing. That's kind of cool. Um... All right, let's see. Can we put the either of these? We can only put the burning shaft mod in there. So, yeah, I think that's only going to be like a club. A one-handed club because it wouldn't go on hammy. All right, let's go test our pick out at the store. Um... Let's go a bit of ways and see if we can find some... I should have brought the other pig. Dang. I think we saw... T oh. I see you over there. Let's test out. Hey, I don't see the... It's, it's barely glowing. <laughs> It's not a huge, um, light source, I don't guess, because you can barely see it. It's, you can see a little bit of flaming around my hand. Oh, here's a biker dude. We really test it out. <laughs> what? Yeah, see, I really like, uh... the slashing maneuver of the machete over the hunting knife. It is a lot different. Oh man, there are so many zombies out here. I really just want to mine some rocks. Do you mind? <laughs> and I think this will be uh a little more beneficial like when I'm fighting the buzzards which I hate um, because I find that I can't hit them half the time because they swoop in and they back away 
and then my hammer swings and I miss <laughs> which which really really suck um, so uh, next episode is gonna be a horde night um, so I'm gonna uh, once again start the video at 8 a.m. in the morning instead of the 4 we must have come through here clean this place out. Let's go maybe on the other side of this road. I don't think I've been over there. So. I see one rock over there by that POI. Oh, here's one. Yes, you're really going to be able to be a little bit hard to compare it. Oh! This only has 400. Is this... One. Two. Three hits. Uh, three hits per level. That's really nice. And look at all that iron we got. 36 from one rock. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That's a helicopter flying over the house. So uh, we live near a hospital, so it happens occasionally. I apologize, but uh, somebody's life is getting saved by that noise. So I'm not going to complain too much. That's how I like to look at it. I slice you, man. I caught you. Oh, look! Here's a big rock. Does this one have more like hit points or anything, or is it just visually different? Doesn't look like it. So I should be able to clear one stone on one bar of endurance, correct? Oh, that is that is a huge upgrade because um, busting up one stone on the under there takes like seven swings with the iron axe, an iron pickaxe. So. This is awesome. Three hits per level. That's nine hits. And it and I can do it on one one bar of stamina. Awesome. So we just got a hundred iron. Awesome. That's like five hundred. Uh I think hey, that's another tool. <laughs> Plus we're getting um some charcoal which will also be very useful because we have tons of nitrate from my mine uh, the mine under there I'm digging into gravel and I'm just uncovering more and more nitrate so we have tons of that to go with the charcoal oh this is awesome I love it I love I love steel picky. I love being able to bust a rock on less than a bar of stamina. <laughs> That's really nice because it's been a, a real struggle mining rock. Uh, the all right, we we did a good test run, I think. Um, we got 68 coal too. We're gonna take that back and we almost got enough nitrate to go with it, but not quite, but we got plenty. <laughs> we got plenty. Oh yeah. Um, oh look, a little purse. I heard footsteps, but it sounded way closer than him. So I was like, I was sure. Oh, 1200. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like that other quest is that way because it's white. 
Do we have, yeah, because the other one's a treasure and it's there. Uh, so that's kind of cool that it marked it on the map as well. Look, there's a couple of zombies there. They want to test our new steel weapon. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for participating in our survey. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of the, the steel machete? Is it awesome or no? I think it's awesome, but... You know, you may think something different. Um, I'm picking up stones. I'm picking up stones. Exhuming things that's better left unknown. While I'm resurrecting memories of the zombie that's dead and gone. For the night I'm sitting at home picking up stones. Oh yeah, you know we gotta get the stray rocks around here. So we can't have anything being this close to our base and being going unmined. That's just a shame. There we go. Gotta get them eggs. Uh, of course, you know it's not that big of a deal anymore. I got the farms going, but I still got a loot. I still got a looted, guys. Oh my god! All the rain. The rain is a little bit loud. Um, so the hammer and forge, we know, gives us the steel armor and the military armor. So is it like the advanced engineering that gives us, um, oh, the nail gun will be nice. Uh, I, I don't really know what advantage of an but then we'd have like a backup in case we lose all our stuff. But the important thing is chainsaw and augers on that last one. So, but you have to be like a level 100 for that. So, let's see how many hits, how many hits does it take to get to the center of a rock? Let's count. One, two, three. So that's, um, it was taking seven, so that's three off. That's almost, uh, 50%. So this will make, uh, our mining twice as fast. <laughs> Look at how... How much hunger we've used up just from going and getting that little bit of stone. So four hits is really nice. Um, yeah, I like it. And I like my new machete. Uh, we're not getting a lot of iron. But what we might do is go ahead and make our shovel and make our axe. Uh... Whoa, a little bit of lag there. So that um, we're only dealing with one material. And then we'll have all five, all tools will be level five. Um, let's go ahead and eat because uh, we're down a bit from all the hard work. We got a dog food. That goes in in here. Yeah, let's celebrate our 264 iron there uh, by going down smelting it up and making uh, a new pick a or new a new axe and a new shuffle so that all of our tools can be glorious. Uh, 
I think that's going to take more than 10 minutes to smelt that. So we'll put extra in there. How many still can we make? Can we make 20? Oh, we can. It's 400, but we'll only be able... I say we upgrade the pickaxe first. I mean the axe, the fire axe. Not the pickaxe. Uh, because that will help us get mass quantities of wood. Like when I got the, the steel, I don't, well, technically it's not gonna help us get more because I don't think you get more from having a higher tier um, thing. But that'll give us a backup fire ax. Um, and that'll be awesome. Is there some sort of like, I know we have the scrap iron. Is there like some sort of like scrap plates? Um, oh, this looks like it has to be done in the forge. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm not really... What's this iron sheet? That takes 40... This might be what I'm looking for, I don't know. I just thought maybe uh, there would be like a fence, maybe something sort of like the, um, the iron bars uh, that I can make out of scrap iron that would be a little bit cheaper. But they have stairs and they have the sheet, but that's not exactly what I want. And all of these are just different types of blocks. They're not, um, they're not like a railing. Um, I guess we could make the wood railing. Crude wood railing. You have to do that in, uh, oh, here's some wood bars. Well, I'm curious. Oh, these can be upgraded to iron bars. Is this the same? Is it going to take iron or iron scrap? So, oh, this says specifically forged iron. So maybe these can be upgraded with, I don't know. Let's make one. And let's go place it and see, uh, see if it can be upgraded. Um, well, hang on a sec. It's not, uh, too hasty. Our stuff is done. Wow, that's chewed through that. We might not need that. Oh, it's, it's, we, we've gotten enough now. No. Oh, we need clay. I hate needing clay because then I gotta go all the way up. Oh, whip, 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 whip. Let's just take, yeah, 420. Let's take 420. We just randomly reach in there and grab 420 lace oil. Uh, there we go. Uh, I was going to make 20 more steel, but let's just let that cook up. And go see. Go see if this is what I want. I just wanted like, uh, you know, not a full block. Now 
now. What does that require me? Oh, it does take it. But you know, that's, um, and I might actually prefer that to the wooden blocks. Because you can, uh, you can see through it. So if those get um, broken, I might just replace them. Oh look, I have an. Uh... Oh, oh crap! I don't know if she. She looks dead. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Um, I actually, I think I want to keep these ones up here as solid blocks. But, or, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes if they impede my vision too much. Um, then we might change them out. It's just a little bit of wood. I think it'll be okay. Um... So probably what I want to do after I get this squared away is um, start making ammo because uh, I don't believe we have enough ammo. <laughs> we don't have enough of anything. Um, uh, but ammo we're definitely in a short supply. I made extra arrows already. So that's good. We have like almost 200 extra arrows. Uh, actually we, we have over 200 extra arrows. So that's awesome. Um, I think uh, we'll use water. We'll, let's also go check and see if our trader has, because you know, we have a few things to sell. Um, take that little bit of extra. Yeah, we don't have a whole bunch extra. Three seconds extra. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make our fire axe. It's going to take a minute. Uh huh get our bucks. Uh, we can sell all of this what we can. Maybe we might want to upgrade those compound bows. Cause look at that. They're 500 and that, that one's jacked and we have a few of these. All of our tools take steel now except for our compound bow. So maybe we'll leave two of those for like the Horde Knight for our marksman rifle. Uh, let's repair this one. Oh yeah, 1400 versus 500. That's a lot better. Or 330. Maybe we'll repair this one, the shotgun. I'm not sure how. Yeah, that's worth a lot more. I think the the compound bows sell a little bit better than the gun. So let's go see let's go see what ammo he can uh, hook us up with. 
to survive the horde night tomorrow. Um, worst case, uh, we'll also look for coal. That door looks like it's about to come off the hinge. Get lost, thumb. No. I'm here to sell my stuff. Oh, look how close we are. To leveling. I think once we sell one of these guns or something, uh, it'll level us. Um, we want to make sure we definitely sell one of these. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we got another skill point. That's awesome. Can we sell another one? Oh yeah. How about this shotgun? Excellent. You know, we might hold off. Maybe we'll sell this one. We might hold off on the other. Uh, knowing that you get 1400 for these compound bows and probably close to that for the hunting rifles if we repair them. We'll go ahead and sell the shade and sell the bicycle hang of bar. He's got 70 gunpowder. Oh, but look at that. We're going to buy that. 2800 Dude, are you serious? Killing me here. Look at all that nine millimeter round. We got a couple of AKs. Two hundred and sixty three ammo. know what he's selling I mean these prices are a little whack look at how much it costs he's selling for gunpowder 62 and now let's look at there what it takes there. to make a nine millimeter it takes one gunpowder So, to me, that says, this is a deal. This is like almost 50% off. <laughs> well, yeah, but, I mean, because it's going to take three of the gunpowder to make the other ammo. So, how much is this going to cost? Just, uh... Oh, we don't have enough to buy all that. That's 10000 I guess we could sell some of our, uh, like maybe this bow. Because it's uh, pretty full. Oh, he won't buy anymore. Nerds. might also look at, look, he's got a couple of dart traps. We can't make those. But we don't have, um, like, a, oh, there's a generator bank. Oh, what do I do? Do I get the ammo? Do I not get the ammo? he's got a crossbow. I'm not really interested in that. I don't think we've gotten a... Have we gotten a 44? Have we gotten a Magnum? I don't think so. Look at all those goggles. 
All right, let's check his secret stash. We don't really have any points in there. See, I think these magazines are gonna come in handy end game. I don't think they're as important early game because you have the restriction and you have to have that open so you need the levels so the higher level you are the more valuable these are going to become especially if there's a level limit there's a level cap depending on you know how many things you don't get to spend points on those magazines could come in handy to open up certain recipes at least temporarily so that you could make something I wonder if he buys food. Maybe we could uh, see how much our vegetable stew takes. Cause oh, he's got. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might buy the ammo as much of it as, as I can. That way when I run out of the 762, I have this. It's cheaper than buying the gunpowder. We would only get 70 gunpowder, so we could only make 70 of those bullets. We're not limited by uh, the shell casing and the bullet tip. We're limited by the gunpowder. So <laughs> that's the most expensive thing it's cheaper to buy the ammo than it is the gunpowder and we can always use our AK-47 and just blow the crap out of stuff and that sounds like more fun to me <laughs> so let's see There's, let's see if we can buy 200 we can and we'll have money left over so let's do that oh he's got coal too And it's 28 for 10. Can I buy all of those? I can. Let's buy them all. Because we can, uh, we got the nitrate powder. We can turn that into gunpowder. Yeah. Awesome. Out there. I definitely would would like to spend more time looting and less time fortifying my base because uh, I think the looting part is fun I don't know why it's fun to loot it's like uh, opening a treasure chest <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get you gonna find something useful I don't know okay I think our axe should be ready Look at that wood. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've had a problem with what that guy will and will not buy. Um, so I don't know the rhyme or reason to it. Let's put to you first. Got some ammo, that's good. Um, so what I wanna do with all of my, oh, look at that, we got some more, how did we get the coal there? I thought we made, did I only make one gunpowder, seriously? I thought I hit the all button. must be losing my mind. Are you blind? All right, let's put our jars up. Jar jars. Uh, we got a few extra now. That means I'll be able to... Oh! What? Oh! 
Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Zombie Land. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it will be fun. Um, I'm sorry, we're, we're still sort of getting a few things uh, squared away with our rides and stuff. So I hope you understand if we can't actually let you in right now. What? Woo! <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what happens when you sneak in. I'm sorry, I can't be responsible for, you know, what other people are doing. Oh. What other zombies are doing and stuff. Hello, gentlemen. It's nice to see you here. Oh, look at that. He's got blood all over his shirt. Did that zombie explode on you or something? Aha! Uh -huh. Wanna dance? Oh, yeah, he ducked. I was aiming high for his head and he ducked and I missed. But that's not as big of a thing. It's not as important if I miss. Oh, there she is. Um, I really would appreciate it if you would let me mine the blocks, uh, please, because I really need the material. Oh look, she's giving back. Uh, she realized her mistake. And she said, here, you can take the rocks. I don't want them. <laughs> That's exactly what, what it was. Here, take my money. <laughs> yes, that's the admission for Zombie Land. You don't get to come in if you don't have money. So tell your friends to bring their purses. Oh, look at that. They wallered all over that. Oh, yeah. He must, yeah, it looks like uh, one of them got set off. Or, no, it's actually one of the hubcap mines, I think, right there or something. I don't know. So, I think next, <laughs> um, what are we going to upgrade? Uh, we'll probably try to upgrade all of the exterior and the interior cage the bottom part here to uh, to concrete and maybe upgrade these wooden blocks uh, to the metal. Maybe not these outside ones because those aren't there for structure or protection. They're, they're there as a distraction. Um... <laughs> So this is looking really good. What were we doing? Uh, we got interrupted by the zombie horde. Oh, we were making ammo. Yeah, we need lots of ammo. Uh, you were jacked. There's our 167 gunpowder. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think now. We have way more. I could get 167 bullets, but I don't know that they're going to pack the punch that I need to uh, off them zombies. It's more of like a. Oh, look, I have 214 more gunpowder here. What? I must have been making it up as I gotten every little bit of charcoal. I must have just been doing that as I went. All right. 
right. Um, ammo. Look, I only have that favorited, so it must be destined that I make it. 126. I think that's a good amount. There we go. And we used up most of our bullet tips and stuff. So, um, what we might do is, um, oh, wow. Sorry. Uh, our eyes are burning. There's our leftover gunpowder. Do they like have exploding arrows in this or was that just like a mod thing? Only crossbow bolts. What is this reflex sight? Magazine extender? Barrel extender? Oh, I wish I had that. Do, so do I not need the recipe for that? That looks like a mod. Oh, yeah, you have to have the barrel extender schematic. Uh, yeah, you can't make that. So that's crap. Oh, I want the mod so bad. It makes me sad to be able to, um, to not be able to make them. Okay, what do we got in here? Let's go ahead and pop these guys in. Because we just used up whole crap ton of our materials. Oh, we still got stuff in here. Let's go ahead and take this out real quick and put these guys in. Oh, it takes like a minute. Is that going to smelt like one? Oh, if it's uh, holy crap! Okay, the lead doesn't take very long, so maybe we'll put in this brass after that, and it'll go down pretty quickly, and then we could throw the lead in there. Oh, come on. Three, two, one, go. There we are. And that only takes like a second each. Uh, so that'll be done in no time. But those candlesticks uh, take a, a minute to melt down. It'd be worth a lot of brass for a whole minute where you know, you can get one in one second. Is it going to be 60 brass? It doesn't... I don't know. Let's pay attention. Okay, so it's at 120 brass. Let's wait until this goes down and melt it to see what, how much you get for one candlestick. I think it is close to 60. So it would be the same as melting 60 individual pieces. It would take 60 seconds to melt 60 individual pieces. So, yep. Went from 120 to 180. Uh, so I guess that's, uh, that's that. Um, I think we got enough for a shovel. We do, we do have enough for a shovel. That's so amazing. 
I love getting new tools and look, they're a pretty blue. They're pretty blue. Isn't that awesome? All right, so um, once I get this shovel made, I'm probably gonna go ahead and end the episode because I, I need to go gather. I need to gather tons and tons of iron um, because that we can start making steel, like steel arrowheads, steel bullet tips, or uh, not bullet tips, bullet casings. Uh, I believe the bullet tips are still made out of the lead. So you just go from needing brass to needing iron, uh, more iron for your bullets. Because these bullet casings take two iron. And there's our forged steel. Yay! I really want to put this stuff back in there. Okay, well, we'll save that for, for later. Uh, yeah, if you just wiggle back and forth on, uh, on the ladder... It generally gets you going up. Yeah, it's close to 20 o'clock. Let's just get this shovel started. And then we'll go ahead and call it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. Next episode is going to be the 21 day horde. Are we ready? Do we have enough ammo? Are our base defenses up to snuff? Who knows? <sighs> anyway, tune in next episode to find out. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comment below. Am I going to die horribly? Is my base going to get just splattered everywhere? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.